Hi, friends. Welcome to the series about transforming shadow box templates. In this video, I will show you how to turn a template with round or nearly round window into circle. As usual, we'll begin with Krikut Design Space, then Silhouette Studio and Canvas Workspace. For Cricut, after you upload the template to Design Space, if you want to edit anything, you have to ungroup it. I suggest that you number the layers to handle the process easier. To make this template into circle, it's similar to make gingerbread cookies. Each layer is a sheet of dough and we need a cookie cutter frame to cut it into the shape that we want. Then we'll keep the part inside the frame and remove the outside one. In other words, we get the intersecting piece between the dough and the cutter. If you're familiar with Cricut Design Space or any graphic design software, there's a tool working exactly like that. It's called Intersect. Now we have the dough, which is the layer, so we need a circle cutter to cut it into circle. Go to Shapes, find and click to create a circle. Then resize it to the layer's dimensions. My template is 7.5 inches, so I will make this circle to 7.5 as well. Because this template has 14 layers, I need 14 circle like this. You can select the circle and press Ctrl D 13 times to make 13 more copies. After that, click Select All. Go to Align and choose Center. Now, in the Layers panel on the right-hand side, scroll down to Layer 1. Hold down Shift key and click to select both Layer 1 and a circle. Go to Combine, choose Intersect, and we have Layer 1 in round shape now. Then go to Combine again and choose Merge Layers. Finally, rename it to Layer 1 to keep track of the process easier. Do the same thing for other layers. Hold down Shift key and click to select one layer and one circle at the same time. Go to Combine and choose Intersect. Then, Merge Layers and rename it based on the layer's number. When you've done with all layers, you can move them up and down to get the correct order.
Let's turn to Silhouette Studio. The principle is similar to what we did in Cricut Design Space. First, we need a circle. So, go to the Drawing Tools on the left side column and choose Draw and Eclipse. Hold down Shift key and drag mouse to draw a random circle. Then resize it to the layer's dimensions. Because this template has 14 layers, I will need 14 circle like this. Use the Select tool and click to select the circle. Press Ctrl-D to make more copies. After that, drag mouse to select everything. Click Center and Center to Page icons on the top toolbar. Now let's zoom in. Hold down the Shift key and click to select a circle and layer one at the same time. Go to the Modify panel and choose Intersect. It's done. We've made layer one into circle. Let move it to other side and repeat the process for other layers. Hold down Shift key and click to select one circle and one layer at the same time. Choose Intersect in the Modify panel and move the result out. When you finish, select all layers and click Center to align them again. When it comes to Canvas Workspace, it doesn't have the Intersect tool, so we'll use another method. First, I create a square and make it bigger than the template's layers. Then move it to other place. Second, create a circle and make it equal to the layer's dimensions. You should go to the Edit panel on the right-hand side and type the exact height and width values. My template is 7.5 square, so I'll resize the circle to that value. After that, hold down Shift key and click to select the circle and the square we've just created at the same time. In the Align Objects section, click Middle and Center to center to align them. Then scroll down to the Process Overlap Shapes and click the last Subtract icon. The idea is that instead of getting the intersection between the layer and a circle with the Intersect tool, we make a reversed frame and use it to subtract or remove things outside the circle. This is that reversed frame. This template has 14 layers, so we need 14 frame like this. You can press Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V to make more copies. After that, select all and center to align them again. Next, hold down Shift key and click to select one cutter frame and layer one at the same time. Then, click Subtract in the Process Overlap Shapes section and we have layer one in circle. Move it to other place and repeat the process with other layer.
When all layers are turned to circle, you can select and centered align them. Finally, go to the Layers panel and rearrange them in the correct order. That's how you can transform a shadow box template with circle window into circle. I hope it's helpful. In the next video, I will show you what to do if the window is other shape rather than circle. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notification to not miss it. Goodbye and see you later.